Alright, we're out here today with Casey and Eric. We're gonna hit up the Chabot Flea Market on a cold Saturday morning. 37 degrees. It has been cold out here in the mornings and then it warms up. But uh, a lot of people here already and it should be good. And a lot of people set up, so I'm excited. Let's go check it out. Alright, so we're looking for small set video games, toys, cameras. I didn't bring my, my cart on purpose. I brought just the backpack and then Casey has his cart, but looking for small today, guys. So let's see if we get lucky. <laughs> How much on the books? Books, one to get the Each a dollar. How much for the whole set? Um, do, you, do seven on them? Seven on the whole set? Yeah, sure. Seven? Okay. How much on the rice? Uh, that one I was asking 10. I could do 10. I think it's a youth one though. It is. It's 14, 16. But it's a little bit longer one. So. Huh. I have to think about it. It's pretty cool. You don't see a... I was surprised. I have, I have a Broncos Jerry Rice jersey, so... Uh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. That's like, you know, it's brand new, never been worn. Nah, so. That's cool. <laughs> he's always uh, working out at Nelmo College. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's always working. My son goes to that school. He's, oh. he's, he's seen him running on the track a couple times. Nice. Is it all a dollar? Yeah. Everything? I'm gonna take it for a dollar. Totally slacking today. I forgot to turn on my camera. I was talking to this guy. Picked up this. He wanted 40. I got it for 20. It was for me. It's the whole series of Route 66. Love it. But then um, this lady had a pile of clothes and she had this Adobe jacket. And I was like, oh, whatever. And then I look. And it's Patagonia. It's a large, men's large. So, pretty cool for five bucks. I'll be able to sell that since it's Patagonia. Pretty dope. But, sorry about that. I'll, I'll pay attention to my camera a little more. How much are the Happy Meal toys? How much are the Happy Meal toys? I'll do five bucks for three of them. Uh, Alright. Like yeah, no worries. Here. So here's one of them. This is Venom Pool. And this one is uh, the Deadpool figure, but it comes with an extra large t shirt as well. Uh, 20. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yes, it does. That exact same t shirt right there. It's all Let's see. Is it the real Care Bear? You no, know, just, yeah. You can go see the year, though. No, it's 2021. She's new. Uh, it's not vintage. Nah, not vintage. She's new. I gotta show you guys what else I got. In case you got something, too, but. Huh? Oh, wait, where'd it go? There it is. Grab this for my daughter. Tim McGraw, Shotgun Rider Tour 2015. It's a small, so. Picked it up for five dollars, so that'll go to my one of my daughters. One of them will want it. Pretty cool. Is this you? Is yeah. You? How much on? I want to sell it together. Uh, I don't know, Twenty-five dollars. Eight dollars for both. Eight. Okay. Fifty cents for clothes. That's a deal. <laughs> What's that over here? I might like. Let's see. Let's see. Two 
I'll beat you, man. <laughs> what size you wear? Okay. These are 12. Vintage. Yeah, the old school. Yeah. How much are these? Yeah. Oh, he's good. How much are these? Ten bucks. You're making me try and buy them, aren't you? Yeah, you know, if they were Good, how are you? How much on the Xbox? Xbox ninety five dollars. Put that back gently. Okay. I'm making me off. How much here on, on the controllers? These two? The controllers. This Xbox, this is after. Yeah, no, it's okay. okay. No worries. Thank you. Appreciate You're it. Okay. So we got a skateboard here, old crappy board, but they have independent trucks. I don't know if you can see that. Independent trucks are expensive. The wheels have really good bearings too, but so somebody took good trucks, good bearing, good wheels bearings, and put them on a crappy board. The trucks are still worth more. You know, it's five bucks on this. You might get it. Take it? Yeah, I'm gonna take it. What'd you find? A Nintendo and an Atari. Where at? Over there? Okay, I'll move over there. These guys are the Atari one. Atari. Yeah, they got the AT AT over here. Very first console. Go check it out. But he's probably gonna he's probably gonna be asking right. a lot. He's got a Nintendo first console. These are turtles. Where's the marking on the butt? I need my glasses on. Hold on. Sorry guys, I'm getting old. I need my glasses, I can't see. <laughs> yeah, thought so. How much are your figures? Five each. Five each on those? Yeah. How much are these ones? Early one. Oh, see, sí, Star Wars, this one. Huh? Oh, okay, pregunta. Si. Otra figura? Claro. Tengo que tener con cuatro brazos. ¿No <laughs> How much for this? Where's the charge port? Oh, the USB. Oh, it charges via the USB? Yeah. All right, we're doing really good so far. We're like in the third aisle, and we still have all that behind us. But I mean, we already have our cart full, and we're getting tons of stuff. This flea market is doing great today. 
Well, we know the blowing trick already, so. Good day out here. It's nice. I'm getting hot. Let's see. The brother pinner power works with it. What's really? that? Yeah, it's brother. A, it's all fully functional, man. <laughs> I actually got a GoPro too. Like GoPro, what's that? An eight, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's I an eight. A, I got an eight as well for sale. This don't work. And yeah, that one. You might have to. <laughs> you might have to do some clipping and rewiring. <laughs> he can do that. He's good at that. All right, I'll think about it, my man. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Casey, we found the perfect mouse for you, man. It's your size. I found you a mouse, your mouse for your desk. Huh? <laughs> it's too small for me. Fit your hand perfect. <laughs> How much on the SpongeBob TV tray? Seven. Hmm. I kind of like that. It's got a cup holder thing. Forks. Hmm. Is that a old? Fish and tackle box? Okay. Oh. SpongeBob TV tray? Yeah. Harper loves this. Oh, maybe. That, oh, I see. Oh, okay. Let me try it. You buy it already? No, I'm gonna look at some more stuff over here. Yeah. How much is this? Pretty much brand new. Okay. It's got a USB port. No, I can't. A... That's brand new, but I can't find where you power this thing on. Oh, but I mean, the power button's here. I don't know where you plug anything in at, though. These were uh, popular for. YouTube vlogging back in the yeah. day. Oh yeah, huh? I actually just got one. I don't know. <laughs> Uh -huh. The ND filter. How much for this? One five. We do ten for both. Ten for both. Yeah, that's okay. Awesome. Okay. Imagine. All right, so let me just show you the, the come ups for today. So pretty good day. Um, I spent a little more than I wanted to because I came across something that I wasn't expecting and uh, had to get it. So let me go ahead and, and jump in and show you guys this right here. Okay, so Tim McGraw tour shirt from 2015, uh, size small. I'm going to ask one of my daughters to see if they want it. Um, two of them should fit it, so but it's got all the tour dates and everything on the back. So that was pretty cool for five bucks. Um, yeah, and if they don't want it, then it'll sell pretty easily. And then found this Patagonia jacket. So it's a men's large, 
Um, it's got the Adobe embroidered on the on the back here, but it's in really good condition. Other than it looks like someone had their name like this. You know, the um, my name is you know Bob or whatever. It looks like they had a sticker here, so I'll also have to get that off of there, which won't be a problem. But all the zippers function, nice long sleeve, so that should do pretty well as uh, on on eBay. I'm gonna get rid of that. Got these um, Nancy Drew books, a set of ten. Let's see if I can get one of them out of here, but they're all in really good condition. Um, it's all the little mystery novels, so um, it says 1987 on the inside of this, so um, pretty old actually, and I'm going to sell the whole set. Um, paid seven on this, and we'll see what we can get, you know, I, I don't even know, but I figured whatever, you know. My daughter does like books too, so, you know, if not, she can have it. Found this old Microsoft Flip, it's brand new, uh, the Minnow, so I know this was popular back in the early 2000s, like maybe late 2000s when, um, you know, like vlogging and stuff started, so... It only has like two megabyte memory card or something or internal memory space, I think, but it's brand new. So somebody might want it. So we're going to, we took a shot on that for five bucks. Um, paid up for this. This is for me. The guy wanted 40. It is a, it's his old 60s TV show, Route 66. And this is the full um, four season collection. So he wanted 40 on it. It's a, it's really hard to find. Um, and it's like really, I know, I know for like one season on Amazon, I was looking, it's like 30 bucks to buy one season on Amazon. So 20 bucks for all four seasons is pretty good. And uh, that's going to be for me. And I'll probably keep that in the West Folly for the road trips and stuff for when I want to watch stuff at night. So that was good. Um, SpongeBob TV tray. These go for about 25 bucks on eBay. Um, it's from 1997. So it's pretty old, really good condition actually too. Look at this. I mean, Really good condition, um, but I'm gonna keep that here for Harper, and she can do her snacks and everything with this. Um, but it does go for like 25 bucks. Um, also found this Sony Bloggy, which is really cool. I mean, it is paper thin. This thing, so um, I got I got to charge it. It did it did charge. I did plug it in, and it was able to charge, but I didn't wasn't able to charge it up enough, obviously, to you know test it out. But um, five bucks on this, so I took a chance. Um, you know, we'll see we'll see how it goes. And I think actually, if it does work which I'm hoping I'm going to keep it for like, you know, personal uses, keep it in my pocket as for like emergency blogging or something. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't really played with it too much. So uh found this Jerry Rice jersey for 10 bucks, Seattle Seahawks. So very rare, actually. I think there was only three on eBay, but it's it's official Reebok NFL equipment. Um, and they were like 150 bucks and I paid 10. It's a kid size. So I don't know, maybe I was like 40 on it. Just try to get some money back. So uh, I don't know. It's pretty cool though. I mean, Jerry Rice Seahawks, that was like one season if that, I don't even know if you played the, I don't even know if you made the team that year, but either way. Um, and then I paid a dollar on this Disneyland. Um, this is not too vintage. It's probably, you know, two, 2000s, 2005 ish or whatever, something like that. But it's a, um, it's a women's medium and it's just a, you know, a long sleeve kind of not really crop, but it's just like a short, whatever. Sorry. My couch is so slippery. <laughs> um, paid a dollar on that. So she'll be able to make some money. It looks really cool. She'll be able to make some money on that. Um, and then this was what I paid up on. So I paid $45 for this Nintendo and it came with, you know, power, um, two video line things, and then two controllers as well as the system itself. So, um, 45 on this, which is really good. I don't know. I may keep it. It's it, he, the guy said it works. So I don't know. I might, I might just keep it and see the guy was really cool. I mean, he was like, you know, he wasn't like a shyster or anything like that. We were chatting with him. But it also came with two games too. So it came with Double Dribble, which does pretty well on, on eBay alone. And then baseball, the old baseball. So 45 bucks for the system. I don't know. We'll see. I might keep it and, and install it with my other video game systems. Or, you know, I can sell it and, and make some money off it. So um, I'm going to skip the skateboard for now because i, I got to go grab one thing. But And I got these. These are just for personal. I'm a big Denver Broncos fan. So I found an old Shannon Sharp. Five bucks, and then this Broncos helmet, like a real shut Broncos helmet. So it was probably, you know, youth used around in, in I think, Fremont, which is about, you know, 20 miles away from me. I think they have a youth football league where they have real NFL teams. But, I mean, this is a spot-on helmet. Like, last time it was used was 2008, so it's pretty old. But So I don't even know. But, um, I mean, it's a real <laughs> it's a real helmet. So I was like, oh, that's perfect. So I have, you know, a couple Bronco ones, but I don't have a new – well, not new logo because they've been with this logo since 97, but – yeah, now I have that Bronco helmet, but let me come back to the skateboard. So, skateboard, it's got some independent trucks, and that's why I got it for $5. You see the independent logo there, and then over here on the side, independent as well. Um, and I believe it does have some bones, ceramic bearings. That's what that sound is like, okay? The ceramic bearings have that sound, and those are like the most expensive bearings you can get. And you can see how well they roll, even for being kind of crusty right now in these old wheels. Um, but what I'm thinking is this. 
All right, so a couple weeks ago, probably like three weeks ago, I picked up this Element skateboard um, at the flea market, and it's in good condition. There's no cracks or anything like that. Um, still very much rideable, you know, just some tail tail damage from, you know, awling and stuff like that, but it's still, you know, got some, got some meat there. The grip tape is in really good condition, so it's a rideable skateboard, like very rideable skateboard. I picked this up for $5, picked this whole thing up for $5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these wheels and trucks off, put them onto this board since it's a good board. It's actually a brand name. Um, and I'll, you know, maybe I'll sell it for like 30 and somebody will have a rideable board. So I got $10 into these two, probably turning into like 30 bucks, you know, just and someone can ride a board, you know, I'm going to clean them up. Though. I'm going to get all the paint off as well. Um, but I want to try to see if I can figure out the date on these. Um, they don't look too old, but either way, you know, independent trucks are, I mean, that's the top of the line right there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put it on this board and make a rideable board out of that. So. All right, guys, so we made it home, and uh, I want to go ahead and test out that Nintendo we picked up just a bit ago. Now, it came with Double Dribble and um, a baseball game, but I happen to have 720. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this guy in there, and we're going to test it out. Now, I think I have live TV set up from a previous Nintendo, but let's just see what happens. I think I only have Channel 3 set up, which is what I have the... Okay, we got Channel 3. And I have channel 3 on here, so let's go ahead and let's pop this guy in and let's test this Nintendo and see if it works. I have it all wired up nicely already, so let's see here. Actually, I'm going to leave it open because I might have to toggle. Yep, let's go ahead and let's, let's toggle this bad guy around. You guys remember that old trick, right? Let's see, let's do it again. Come on, come on, I know you work. I know you work. There it is. And there we go. We got 720. It works. That is terrible. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Graphics on a on a 4K TV just do not work. That is so bad. Look at that. Oh, my cat wants to play. But there we go. We got a working Nintendo. So, very good pickup, guys. Very good. I'm excited. Move cat. I can't She wants to play the game. How am I supposed to show... Guy, move your butt. Move. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, my God. I remember this game. It is so bad. All right. I'm, I'm excited to play. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next little hunt.